LEGO is introducing two new sets to the iconic Botanicals line, and these two are absolutely awesome. So without further ado, let's take a closer look. So the LEGO group did send these to me early to review, but you can pick yours up starting on February 1st from LEGO.com. In fact, my brother actually said he found one at his local Walmart in Wisconsin like a week ago. So you could probably find these out in the wild if you do enough searching. Now, as something of a parts nerd, my initial interest in these was sparked by, of course, the wonderful amount of recolors we were likely to get. But now that I've built them, and have them here in person, I really don't think I can bring myself to part them out. And that's saying something, because I've parted out some truly remarkable sets in the past, like uh, Diagon Alley, several modular buildings, the list goes on and on. There's hardly anything put together anymore. For mock builders, this is the ultimate parts pack. There is so much delightful olive green, dark orange, dark tan. A lot of these pieces we've never seen in these colors before. We're getting the paddle element here for the first time in dark red. It's also shown up in the Wildflower Bouquet set in bright light orange and magenta for the first time too. In the past, it's only shown up in light bluish gray, red, and yellow, so that's three new colors in two sets. Other highlights include the bicorn pirate hat. Originally, that piece only appeared unprinted in black and in one Ninjago set, Misfortune's Keep back in 2016 in dark blue. This time around, we get it in dark purple and magenta, which is really fun. So you can create some pretty epic pirates as well as some pretty epic flowers. Another relatively uncommon piece that makes a pretty prominent appearance in both sets is this shoulder pad piece. And I really didn't recognize it right away. I thought maybe it was introduced with the Star Wars buildable characters, but it turns out it was introduced with the Marvel buildable characters just from last year. Only included in two Spider-Man sets in red, but this time we get it in yellow and also in medium nougat. It's a very specialized piece and I hate it. It doesn't go with anything, but Wow, have the designers used it to incredible effect here, especially with Chris's rose that he's designed with a combination of that shoulder pad piece and a relatively new mudguard to make this really organic rose. Really, really great stuff. I completely respect the designers making use of these borderline useless, ugly, specialized parts and endowing them with an uncomparable beauty in the way they've used them here uh, for these flowers. Really great stuff. Another part is inside of those flowers and it's this gear-like looking element. Apparently this was introduced for the James Bond Aston Martin. It is the wheel cover and was introduced in that set in light bluish gray, or maybe it was flat silk. doesn't matter. It was not this color, so this is a recolor. But this piece was also reused in the Singapore Skyline set um, for a similar flower-like build. Again, an incredibly useless part repurposed to great effect by two very talented designers. Full sets make use of the eggshell crown piece and it has been recolored for Wildflower Bouquet in both bright green and regular blue. That eggshell piece here too is recolored in dark tan for this set. We also get the six pronged flower stem, of course, recolored in purple, which is awesome. It's really great to see that piece coming in a lot more colors now. Last year we got it in dark red and dark green and now it's in purple. So hopefully it's only a matter of time before we see it in olive green too. Speaking of olive green recolors, there's no shortage of them in dried flower centerpiece, which gives us, of course, that small spruce tree in the olive green color and that relatively new plant stem that was introduced in the city line. Another great recolor is dark orange pumpkins, which are attached by whips in several places throughout the dried flower centerpiece. I also like that we're seeing dark green palm leaves here in the wildflower bouquet for the first time. In the past, this piece has actually appeared in, well, duh, green, but also pearl gold, black, and lime. Whether you're a parts lover or just looking for something nice to display in your office space, both of these sets are a complete win for me. Lego's really promoting with these sets the idea that you should build this with somebody else. Perhaps it's just a cover up for the repetitive building that does take place in both sets. I'm not 
I'm not going to gloss over that fact. Um, but regardless, I, I took this opportunity to build both sets with my wife, which was a, an absolute delight. I can imagine some of the techniques on display here might be a bit more complicated for someone just coming into the hobby, like your mom, if you're going to build it with your mom, as they suggest for Mother's Day coming up. But you're gonna get a fantastic product at the end. And it was really quite fun for even me as an experienced builder and my wife who hasn't built as much to watch these really bizarre pieces come together to create such beautiful and recognizable flowers. So that's all for this one. Have yourself a great life and I'll see you next time.